Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. So I recently got a box full of a few interesting looking figures in the mail from one of my good friends who actually is the one that traded me the Carnotaurus, the Demon Carnotaurus, a little while back in exchange for some paintwork that I did for him. Well, he kind of sent me another box of dinosaurs, none of which are Jurassic Park figures, but it was a box full of random dinosaur figures he had in exchange again for kind of some credit for future paintwork and I thought that some of the figures were really interesting and I wanted to share them with you guys here as I pulled them out. So the very first one here is a Maragaya and you might be looking at this and saying wow that's the Safari LTD version. Well it's not. It's actually a bootleg of the Safari LTD version. I don't have a clue who bootlegged it or who made it but it actually looks fairly decently well done for being a bootleg the paintwork on it actually looks fairly decent for the most part doesn't look bad at all except for this seam kind of in the middle which you don't see on the safari ltd version but of course being a bootleg it's very light it's kind of hollow i think so it's not very high quality but at the same time it actually doesn't look that bad it's kind of decently well done although i'm thinking about repainting it just because it's a bootleg i don't really care too much for bootlegs from time to time I will pick one up if it's something fresh and new and sort of like a recreation of something we've already seen or like a different paint scheme or something but this one doesn't really have anything too appealing to it it's just kind of your typical run-of-the-mill bootleg but in a not so terrible looking way then we have a Schleich Velociraptor which is one of the ugliest Schleich figures ever it's just not very good looking but at the same time I guess it kind of is interesting looking he's got kind of a chewed tail which is not good for him he's in a little bit of poor condition but i actually think i'm just going to repaint this guy just because it'll give me something to do at some point if i'm ever low on things to repaint now i just stuck the mirror guy's face up the velociraptor's butt but at some point i might repaint it just because if i find time to repaint a random smaller figure i'll probably jump on that guy and Give him a nice new paint job then there was also a safari ltd tyrannosaurus rex with a very nice green color scheme i actually don't remember if i have this figure already or not i may i know i do have the figure itself but i don't know if i have this paint version this paint scheme which is pretty appealing i mean it's got a few paint chips here and there but for the most part it's not in terrible condition it's in decent shape and again, being an older retired Safari LTD figure, you don't often find them without at least some paint chips. So that's just the way it is. Then we also have this guy. And he doesn't want to stand, so he's going to do this, I guess. Which, by now, you're probably thinking, wow, somebody shrank the Schleich Tyrannosaurus. And it actually looks really, really close to the Schleich Tyrannosaurus Rex version. It's clearly a bootleg of the Schleich Rex, but at a very small size, but they did a good job, honestly, of replicating the actual paint scheme of the Schleich Rex. I feel like it definitely looks very, very close to the actual version, and uh, that's fairly impressive, but again, at a very, very small size, a much smaller size than normal, which is also quite interesting. So I've never actually seen this version of the bootleg of the Schleich Rex. I've never seen one so small, because more often than not, you usually get the bootleg version that is the full size, which I have to move the camera back because he's a little bit big. And that is this one, which also came with this guy from my buddy. This is another Schleich bootleg Rex, but now you can see this paint scheme on this one doesn't exactly match the actual original Schleich. He's got a little bit of a lighter green and different color eye and everything so he's not near as good the paint job doesn't look as nice at all as close to the schleich version did this one does look really really close so this one i might actually just keep i'm not sure yet what i'm going to do with him but i think i might just keep him the way he is because he's pretty cool but this one is definitely an ugly version also missing a little bit of a tail so these guys aren't really in the greatest shape but being a random bootleg i don't really care too much he does have an articulated jaw just like the schleich version but it kind of closes on its own so it doesn't work very good but this one i'll probably just repaint at some point because why not i'm surprised he even stands up most bootlegs don't they usually fall over right on their face but that one stands up pretty well now there was also a random little t-rex skeleton that came with this and a papo dragon an older one which i gave those to my kid because he loves dragons. He's absolutely in love with them. And since I don't usually collect too many dragons, I'll buy them if they look really cool. But for the most part, he seems to enjoy them more than I do. So I gave him those two 
figures, but we also have this guy, which now is way too tall for the camera, so I'm going to have to pick the camera up. But this is a very interesting looking figure, and I believe it's made by Bowley, which I have reviewed some of their figures in the past when I reviewed the $1 cheap dinosaur figures at Walmart, as they did have quite a few random figures that came out at Walmart, which were really cool. But there's this guy here that I don't really have any idea what species he is meant to depict. It does not tell me at all. He just kind of looks like a random generic run-of-the-mill dinosaur, but uh, definitely a pretty cool looking figure. It's actually detailed fairly well, and I think for the most part it looks decent-ish, but I'm not too, too familiar with the Bowley Company, but it is very cool to get some more figures, which these ones are a very different style. The ones at Walmart, the cheap $1 figures were like really light and hollow and everything. This is a little bit of a heavier and more solid figure. But speaking of the Bowley figures, there was also this Raptor, which looks almost Hasbro-like, with kind of similar to the older Hasbro Jurassic World Raptors, but also a pretty cool-looking figure, same similar style to that figure there behind it, and also made by Bowley. And I actually looked this set up, it is on Amazon, and there's a four-pack that you can buy with these two, and this very interesting-looking Spinosaurus. But there's also a Tyrannosaurus Rex with the set. I did not get that with this box of figures as he did not have that. He, I think, just randomly bought these somewhere. So I do have the Spinosaurus as well, which is really interesting looking. But if you guys are interested in these figures or any of them specifically, let me know and maybe I'll review them at some point. I'm actually really quite interested in possibly reviewing the Bowley figures because... They're uh, a little different, and I haven't seen any reviews on them previously. So definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you want to see any reviews of any of them. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.